Hey everyone, welcome to this lesson on the major six blues scale. Now this blues scale is awesome. I use it all the time. It's a really nice variation from the traditional blues scale, which is all kind of a minor sound. In this sound, we're gonna be replacing the flat seven with a major six, all right? So we have a little bit of minor in the beginning and we have a little bit of major at the end. So it's a phenomenal scale. Before we go to the piano and check that out, I'd really appreciate it if you could like the Facebook page, Jazz Piano School. It would mean a lot to me. And also, if you're in interested, I put together a free PDF of 20 different licks from 20 of the top jazz pianists. Now you can get that sent to your email instantly just by clicking on the banner below and uh, in the website, all right? So let's go to the piano. I'll show you the major six blue scale and give you guys a couple of demonstrations. Here we go. So I'm gonna be playing uh, in the key of uh, F right now. So in the key of F, I'm gonna take my blue scale, and if you haven't watched the blue scale yet, do so, and you'll know the blue scale. But I'm gonna take my blue scale, here's my blue scale, one, flat three, four, sharp four, five, flat seven, and one. Okay, flat seven, five, sharp four, four, sorry, you should've used three there, flat three, and one. Okay, so here's my blue scale. Now what I'm gonna do is take my flat seven out. I'm gonna re remove the E flat and I'm gonna add a six. So instead of the flat seven, I'm putting a six in. Now listen to the difference in the sound here. Ooh, that was pretty great, wasn't it? Let me do that again for you guys. I don't think you, I don't think you got it. All right, here we go. Oh man, that's special, isn't it? All right, so here we go. So we don't have that that flat seven on the end to create a like kind of a minory sound. We have this nice major six. Woo! It sounds great. Okay, I just love it. I don't know if you guys can tell. <laughs> so here we go. I'm gonna use this major six sound, okay, to play my blues in F, okay? I'm gonna play with a track. I'm just gonna use my right hand so I can show you how we solo with it, some of the ways we can um, use this note. I'm gonna I'll play a lot of two note combinations. It sounds great with two note combinations, but I'm also gonna use it in the slide here. Okay, this is the, the C, going to C sharp, going to D is like a grace note. So this isn't in the scale, but I like using that as like a little slide there to, to move up, but don't confuse this with being in the scale, okay? So let me solo, I'm gonna turn on the track here, let me solo with, the, uh, with that note first, and then I'll add my left hand so you guys can hear a whole, um, you know, the whole picture together. Here we go. All right, so that was using the major six sound that I was talking about. Sounds completely different than using this, uh, you know, dominant seven sound, right? So you have, so it's a really distinguishable sound that you can add. It really adds a different quality and texture to your, to your blues soloing, right? I'm gonna put my left hand with it and um, just use that major six blues scale and show you what a difference it makes with uh, some left hand chords and just you know really uh, going, all out, going all out with the full soloing package, all right? Here we go, let's go back to the piano. That's the major six blues scale, okay? I was adding a lot of different, uh, I was trying to really refrain. Sometimes I get into it and I start adding other notes, but that was the major six blues scale. Um, I was adding some slides in there, a lot of two-handed things. Again, so feel free to slow the video down, pause it on the voicings that you like and take everything. Just take it, you know? I just want you guys to take as much of this as possible and use it for yourself, all right? 
to make yourself a better jazz pianist, all right? Or you can use this in Latin music, any, over any type of dominant chord, really. You can use it in funk. It's a great chord in a funk song, right? You have like, uh, let me see here. Right, more of like a, a backbeat to it. So whatever you wanna use this for, you can use this scale, but uh, that's the major six blues scale. I hope you guys enjoyed it. In the next video, I'm gonna uh, add a complete major blues scale, which I like to kind of use. It's got some a couple different notes in there that you can add as well. So there'll be three blues scales for you to choose from when soloing over the blues. Guys, if you haven't liked the Facebook page, please, please do so if you're enjoying this content. It only takes one click of the mouse and uh, that's it. It's very, very simple. It can give back to me and the people that might be interested in learning about this. I hope you guys can share these videos um, through any social media platform that you know of so that other people can find them and watch them just like you're watching them right now. And if you guys wanna get on the email list for special, special content, for content that's only gonna be sent to the email list, go ahead and hit subscribe at, at any of the uh, buttons around the website. You can subscribe where it says subscribe and you can get the free PDF 20 licks, 20 jazz pianists if you want by clicking below and that's completely free and that will sign you up for the newsletter as well. All right guys, so thanks so much. Say, wow. See, I really gotta slow down my talking. Thanks so much for watching and as always guys, happy practicing.